it's definitely uh, exciting to be in IIC. I could, I could promise you this. There's no single day where you'd go bored um, being part of IIC. There's a lot to do and a lot to learn. So why is it exciting to be in IIC? I think the first thing is who makes up IIC? IIC is quite diverse. It's diverse in its membership. So we get you know, large companies, small companies, academ academic companies, nonprofit companies, uh, and everything in between. We also get companies that, that are very focused on IT. We get companies that are very focused on, on uh, OT or operational technology versus informational technology. So that helps us build quite a unique, um, quite a unique set of perspectives within the consortium, which I don't think um, is easy to find elsewhere. In terms of the work programs themselves, so we have the technology arm that we had talked about, which is forward-looking and uh, looks at emerging technology trends, enablers, and, that, and so on. But we have other disciplines as well. For example, uh, we have a group that looks at digital transformation. So that's kind of trying to link the business side, the value add that could be brought in, uh, translating what some of these, um, you know, uh, forward-looking efforts and trends are into what the technology, what the requirements are that are happening. In many ways, this kind of keeps our ear to the ground in terms of what um, what is happening, what's uh, in in um, in uh, industrial IoT with digital transformation. Um, and it's you know it's important to remember that you know we are going through a period where technology is changing quite a bit. We see it not just within a particular segment, but going into various segments and changing them. So this digital transformation group helps uh, do that. Uh, we have a group that looks at, you know, trustworthiness, security, privacy, and all issues around that area, which again is becoming a must have in terms of deployment. This can't be something that is thought of after the fact. It's essential that these technologies that are in many cases becoming ubiquitous in the sectors that they're um, that they're helping transform, address these issues from the start. So this group, um, again, is constantly doing things on the, on the, on the bleeding edge, I would say. Um, we also, as a consortium, do not believe in doing just everything by ourselves, but we are part of everything else that's going on. We would like to build an ecosystem. And to that effort, we have a liaison working group. And this liaison group um, helps build those relationships. It helps conduct joint workshops. Uh, in many cases, we have done joint publications. For instance, uh, recently in the last couple of years, we've had a joint publication with uh, 1M2M and we've had one with Industry 4.0 on, on key topics. Uh, just to you know, give uh, people that are interested in, in learning a little bit of statistics, we work with um, all sorts of different organizations from uh, standards development organization, other consortia, alliances, uh, governmental type organizations um, and so on. And uh, so we, uh, and open source communities, of course. And we have developed in um, uh, over, since the liaison working group has been created over 50 different liaisons and partnerships. And again, we find that a lot of our members are really interested in linking their work because they're not looking at IoT and saying, oh, this is just happening in here, but they're looking at it and going, you know, when I'm building my solution, what are all the different standards? What are all the guidances we're getting from the consortia? And how can we, we do this all together? So we often find that, you know, working with, with partners is quite effective um, in helping the ecosystem advance. We also uh, have a program where we work with uh, different regions and regional, uh, regional development. We partner up um, with different organizations or set up uh, regional teams in many segments. We also take a look at um, um, the verticals where our technologies are being developed and built. Uh, a good example of this is looking at energy, for instance, how it, you know, our frameworks apply. In many cases, they're horizontal, but there may be other considerations. Uh, our, we also have a marketing group that does a tremendous job of trying to collate, um, not only disseminate the information, but also collate case studies, uh, use cases, and that type of thing. And again, we find that, that that it's very helpful and informative. And last but not least, another unique aspect of the consortium is that we have a practical side to, the, to all of this, which is we have a group that works on test beds, which are um, really kind of like a, 
uh, an early deployment or um, you know a test case of this uh, technology or group of technologies that are coming together, which for something on the scale of industrial IoT is quite helpful. It, uh, it can bring different partners together to work on that. Uh, they also do test challenges and, um, and other things to help really kind of put the practical side, you know, this is going to be real, this is happening. So I can promise you this, if you join IIC, you're not going to be bored. You're going to have an opportunity to learn about all sorts of things. Um, it's a great community of people. There's a great staff that supports uh, the consortium. And I hope that you, uh, you think about us and you join. And certainly if you're interested, um, drop us a line. We'd be more than happy to, to, help, you, uh, to help you learn more about the consortium.